All right. Was that on stream? Me shouting, you are a tool of the oppressor. Yeah, it kind of was. Oh. Congratulations, we're live. All right. I think I am ready to go playing Harvest Moon. And there we go, and we're live. Hooray. All right. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We finally got everything working properly, which is kind of amazing. Normally, this takes me hours and hours to get streams working properly because goodness knows things get screwed up during the week. But today, we got everything working. We're amazing. So, I'm ready to go. So it's just gonna be me for the first little while. Um, my daughter is potentially going to join us at some point this afternoon. And then we're gonna switch over to Kirby Star Allies. She's never played it. I've never really played it. I have it. I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to try it out with her. But for now, this is one of the games that I'm reviewing. So I'm gonna start fresh so that you guys can see what Har with the new Harvest Moon Light of Hope Special Edition is all about. So the first thing we got to do is enter a name. So I'm going to be boring. And I'm going to use the name that I normally use. Oh, not Neo, that's for sure. <laughs> this is a really, really old RPG name for me. An old standby. So we're going to use Neilani. Oh, we're going to give her a spring birthday. Um, and she is going to be born on the 23rd for my wedding anniversary. So that's, that's cool. All right, there we go. Let's get going. So for those of you that have never played a Harvest Moon game, these games have been around for a very long time, and they have a vast following of people that have loved them for many, many years. I am not one of them. I was really late to the game with Harvest Moon. I was super late to the game with Animal Crossing. Um, my kind of builder was like, I don't know, Dungeon Keeper <laughs> back in the day. So... That was more my thing when I was younger. Um, I also really loved Dark Cloud, which is similar to Harvest Moon, but it's more story driven. So let's see what happens. Oh my goodness, she's green hair. I had green hair once upon a time. I don't think I heard anywhere. Like in front of my doorstep. Oh dear. This is Jeannie. And she has some musical notes right next to her name. I wonder what those mean. She's a doctor and a lighthouse keeper? Man. Girl's living her best life. That's why it's called Beacon Town. Never would have known. I bet you say that to all the girls, Jeannie. <laughs> yeah, I would be having serious question marks over my head, too. <laughs> Treated your wounds and covered you in a blanket. Well, well that's nice. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, frowny face. In-game avatar understands. Oh. Okay. Memory's good. A girl with blue eyes and short purple hair. My youngest daughter would be so jealous. Well, actually, my youngest daughter wants pink hair, not purple hair. I used to have purple hair once upon a time.
All right, there are only a few of us left on the island now because of the big storm. Oh, she's sad now. Poor Jeannie. See the town go back to the way it was. There aren't many people left. I think this is our mission. Rebuild the town. Yes, I would like to live here. See? In-game me knows what's going on. Farm on the edge of town that isn't being used anymore. So this is this is the kind of game that I would recommend to parents that have that have kids that are of reading age, that are interested in games like um, Stardew Valley, and they like Minecraft and they like Terraria. You know these kinds of exploration farming games are a lot of fun for a number of different reasons. I recently reviewed. Um, Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, which is another really fantastic title for for kids to get into um, if they like the whole, you know, building your city, building a civilization, and there's a good story behind it. It's, the only difference is, is that I, in this game, I don't know if there's combat or not. I don't think there is. And there's minimal combat in Stardew Valley. Terraria has combat, and so does Minecraft. But... So Nino Kuni is, is hard and heavy on the on the um, on the combat. I'm pretty sure that my five year old would like this game though. <laughs> if only she could read. My in game character is so distressed. I got a hoe. That means I can dig stuff. And I can water stuff. I can make cabbages. Man. You'll need to learn how to grow your own crops. Okay. You need to till the land to make a field. Alright, so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go move this cursor onto an empty plot and press the action button. Alright. We can do that. So, maybe we'll do that back here. So this is our bag. I don't have any crops, I don't have any food, we don't have anything. All we've got is this hoe. So, gotta figure out what the action button is. Oh, I think I have cabbage seeds. Cabbage seeds doing their thing. I love that she told me that I have to use some kind of action button, but she won't tell me, like, what it is. Maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to do it. Oh, I'm supposed to do it down here! Oh, that makes good sense! Look at that. This is beautiful. No, we're not ready to plant yet. We're gonna, we're gonna till some soil here. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Listen here, land. <laughs> I know that caffeine witch. Thanks for coming and saying hey. All right, so we're going to select the seed and we're going to plant it. Yes, exactly. Take that patch of grass. All right. There we go. We did it. We're doing it. Yeah, planting. That's right. Aw, it almost feels like you're planting the seeds of hope. That's very sweet. I like that a lot. Let's try watering the seeds. Let us do this. Oh, I have a well. Alright, so go take my watering can over there. Water from the well. 
That seems fair. There we go. Watering can is full. I like that. Yes, I knew how to fill up my watering can. I pressed the action button. I'm a big girl now. <laughs> Jeannie is very helpful. I'm glad that she's here. All right, watered that. So if you guys have played, um, you know, any Stardew Valley, you'll be pretty familiar with the fact that nothing is voiced. So. Um, I feel like, so Caffeine Caffeine Witch in the chat is asking, do you feel like text or spoken language is better in a game for helping kids with language? I think that a combination of the two is really important. Um, one of the things I noticed about my son, who is turning seven soon, is that he is best when there is voiced, like voiceover cutscenes that have subtitles. And then he's forced to read what comes you know, what's going on in regular gameplay, much like this. So Nino, Nino Cooney, when he was sitting down with me, he would he would get really frustrated if I didn't, you know, let him read while I was while I was playing. Um, but it was great for him because he was able to follow along in the subtitles when I was, you know, when we were in cutscenes. That's why I make sure I turn subtitles on whenever I'm I'm playing a game that the kids are potentially going to be reading. So one second. I am recording. You may not come in. Sorry. Children. I love that I'm just squatting in somebody's old house. I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, okay. I'll just go into this person's house. Yeah, I figured. It doesn't actually mute when I do this. It just is less loud. All right, so... Oh, there's records in here. I, of course, I haven't set any records yet. There are tips! Things I can learn. Cultivating crops and growing trees and what an average day looks like. <laughs> you stay up until 5 a.m. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, well, what would you like me to do, Jeannie? Just stay in bed today? Doctor's orders. Okay. I guess we're going for a snooze. All right, we're doing it. We're building stuff. We're growing stuff. It's exciting. Also, the um, the animations in Light of Hope, super cute. I really enjoyed the last Harvest Moon that was on the 3DS. I don't even remember what the heck it was called, but I liked it a lot. Oh no, somebody, I'm being crushed? Oh, that's dark. Oh. Was that just me having nightmares? No, nope, not. Oh, no, it's actually another human being in the game. A game being. NPC, one might say. All right. We don't need any tools to pull the weeds. Oh, Kind of sad. All right. Pull this weed. What's underneath it? Give me all secrets. Got first stone tablet. Oh my goodness! 
There's a tiny little creature in there! Yeah. I, yes, I feel you in-game me. <laughs> I'm the harvest sprite of crops. Aren't you adorable? I'm kind of small. Aww. I didn't put it there. I wish people would think about us harvest sprites. I mean, now that you mention it, there's something strange about it. <laughs> it's almost like we're gonna go on a quest or something. Well, we will have to check that out. Alright, we're gonna go and find Jeannie. So she lives this way. To the west. Somewhere around here? Nope. Go up this way then. Did I find her? I did! Is something the matter? I found a stone tablet. It is very strange. This music is adorable. That's one of the things I love about Natsumi games, because this is that's the developer, Natsumi. And um, it's just like it's just the cutest. Thanks, Caffeine Witch. Mwah! Thanks for stopping by. It's got me quite curious. Not sure why a lighthouse would be able to tell us something, but I'm going with it. We're on a quest. Oh, do they have to go out in front of this thing? My in-game personality looks shocked a lot. <laughs> And I don't quite understand why. Okay. Now we have been keepers of this lighthouse. Oh, she's the 20. That's a lot of generations. Oh, the lighthouse stopped working. That's very sad. This is our epic quest. Yeah, she's been through a lot in the last 18 hours. That's fair. But you know what's going to save her? Her epic side ponytail. It's good hair. It's 90s hair, but it's, it's good hair. All right, well, let's go find somewhere to, to put this stone tablet in. Do it. Oh, it fits beautifully. Oh, are we building some lights of hope? That's exciting. has been revived! Woo! Aw, that's nice. Everyone's really happy. <laughs> I noticed you keep talking to yourself. Is something wrong? I feel attacked. <laughs> You're the only one who can see me. I'm totally not a figment of your imagination. Not me. You might want to whisper, just in case. Sure, strange little pixie. <laughs> now I'm a bit worried. <laughs> That's kind of funny.
you need to go and find the remaining stone tablets. Okay, this is our grand quest. Maybe this light from the lighthouse will bring her some hope. This light of hope! This little light of hope. I guess we'll see what happens now. This is already very exciting. <laughs> Here I thought I was going to lead an agrarian life and... Now, oh, hello. Still no sign of the tablets. Where are you, harvest goddess? So am I competing with this person? I wonder. Oh! Hello, Rowan. No, I'm sleepy. Who bounces out of bed like that in the morning? Girl hasn't even had her coffee. Or her tea. Chapter 1. The Light Grows. Yeah, like I said, this is already very different from the game I played on the 3DS, and I'm kind of delighted by it. But the most important thing, gotta go check on our cabbages. Look at these cabbages! Alright, what are these cabbages? They're not there yet. All right. Oh, do I have mail? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into my house. I'm gonna go talk to Rowan about what my next step should be. Come on, Rowan. What should I? What should I do? I think you should see who it is. Head south from the farm, and you'll be right in town. Okay. Oh boy. Aw. You could maybe do business here. I'll buy your seeds. <laughs> Question mark? Welcome to the island. Oh, that's exciting. Free goods. Free goods. Uh, okay, fills up with gold. We'll see. We'll see. No. Apparently, in-game me is not into it. Now I live on a different island. Oh, so he was displaced. Oh, that's sad. I could fix your shop, dude. <laughs> Look, I was right. have an axe. <laughs> Man, I'm getting so good at predicting what this game is going to say. I wonder if I craft them. All right, so we need to go north. Oh my goodness, it's so early. It's just way too early. Sun's barely up. Oh, there's Jeannie. She seems kind of odd.
need to visit Naomi in town. Has wooden walls and a blue roof. Okay. Let's go do that. I've gotten good at fetch quests over the years. So we need that axe so that we can repair dude's shop so he'll sell us cool stuff. Got it. So we're looking for for a wooden house with a blue roof. Question theory is around here somewhere. Okay, so not directly in here. Oh, can't go that way. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with Harvest Moon games, but so far, I'm liking it better than I enjoyed the um, the 3DS game that came out a number of years ago. How many years ago did that come out? Was it three years ago? Four? Maybe less than that. But I played that one last, and it was okay. But I felt like I was aimless a lot. And so far in this game, like, I've got a quest. I'm looking for stone tablets, and that's pretty cool. I like being able to um, merge this kind of agrarian farming sim thing with a, no, you have to go out into the world and go, like, find stuff and, you know, kind of save this little island and rebuild it. I dig it. Yeah, get it? Dig it? I didn't even do that on purpose. What kind of weirdo just shows up and says they want to borrow an axe? <laughs> Stranger danger. That is hysterical. Can you please leave? I mean, that's fair. That kid knows what's up. Yeah, but I can't, like, go and ask some random little kid for an axe. So, maybe she can give me advice. Okay. Off we go to go find Jeannie again. We are gonna build this shop. And I watered my cabbages, so I feel good about that. All right, on our way to see Jeannie at the lighthouse. This game is also a lot prettier than the one that was on 3DS. I know it seems like I'm hating on the 3DS one. I'm I'm not. It it was a it was a delightful game. It was just it just felt really aimless. No, couldn't get the axe. Sorry, Jeannie. Sally's doing the right thing. She's a little kid. She doesn't want strangers around her house. Stranger danger. So we're just gonna, like, show up with... With what, like, bamboo shoots for the little kid? She's not a puppy. <laughs> okay, so there are some around her house. Oh, okay. So these are bamboo shoots. Aiming on this is not so easy. You have to, it's like really, really precise because everything is in tiles. Well, I found them. Okay. So I guess we'll go back and we will see Sally. Um, I didn't see any co-op options. So while I can't definitive, I can't definitively say that this game has multiplayer or not i didn't see any options for it so if it turns out that there is i just haven't found it yet i hope that answers your question oh this is the wrong way here we go what's wrong with you you're acting very suspiciously man i love this kid <laughs> Talk about breaking the fourth wall. Are you about to gift me a bamboo shoot by opening your bag, selecting the bamboo shoot, and then talking to me? Uh. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, why did I just say all that? Oh, that's good. 
Cheers! Thanks for coming by. Alright, we're gonna select this. I think we're gonna hold it and be like, hey, we did the thing. Let's be buddies. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I'm really sure. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> She seems so upset. Also, what is going on with what she's wearing on her back? On her back. That's so weird. I mean, who are you anyway? I'm new here. Okay, well, I'll have to bring her a cabbage tomorrow. Because I'm pretty sure my cabbages are not ready. I don't have any fertilizer. May your vegetables grow big. That's useful. Alright, well, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to bed. But it's 9am! Too bad. Bedtime. Save and sleep. Night night. Best way to move time forward. Alright, let's go see what's going on with our cabbages now. Because, like, our cabbages might actually be ready. The cabbages are growing! Oh, that's exciting. Got cabbage! They're really real cabbages. What the heck else are they gonna be, Rowan? Aww, oh, I thought the lands were never gonna be fertile again. Hmm, that's sad. I got a red cabbage. Let's make some kimchi! No? she takes forever anyway. I understand. <clears throat> All right. Nothing like being a weirdo stranger and showing up at some kid's house at 6.30 in the morning. But let's do it. I'm just gonna walk in. It's not weird. Yes. Oh, this must be the lady I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, she's super cute. Oh, Sally. See, but Sally's awesome, because you know what? I want my kids to grow up like that, to be like, look, you're asking for an axe in the middle of nowhere. What? Why would I give you an axe? You're a stranger. I'm not okay with this. It's perfectly reasonable, if you ask me. Oh, we're gonna make me a meal. That's awesome. <clears throat> oh no, <laughs> but her mom's cooking sucks. That's sad and kind of funny, but also sad. Got axe.
That means I have to go and chop down some trees. Okay. Hi, Sally. Aw, she wasn't mean. She was practical. I like her. All right, 6.30 in the morning. What is up? Oh, you don't even have to press it. She just does the thing. I wonder how many it's going to take. She did say that I could chop down the trees by her house. So I think maybe this one too. There we go. I wonder how much lumber I need in order to uh, repair dude's store. This is dude's store. Okay, we did it. Nothing like just bashing your axe against something and knowing you're gonna build something else. Aw, it's brand spanking new. Is it more seeds? <gasps> it's a tablet! Even though I just found it on the island. <laughs> oh boy. This guy, though. All thanks to me. I need to go and put that uh, stone tablet away. Here you go, Rowan. This is not, you know what? As, as much as this game is definitely spoon feeding it to me, I think that this is a fantastic game for little kids. Like kids that are just learning how to read that are you know, interested in playing something like Stardew Valley, but is, you know, they're a little too entry level in order to get into a farming sim quite that way. This is fantastic for them. It allows them to, um, to enjoy, you know, the whole, oh, we're on the wrong way, uh, to enjoy the whole farming sim thing while experiencing a great, oh, no, I wasn't going the wrong way, uh, while experiencing a great story or a story, you know, that is at least, approachable for them to experience so yes and you get to save the world and grow a farm and save a little town and i don't know if you're saving the world but you're saving this little town nothing wrong with that hmm i don't know what the problem here is hmm Oh, we're overthinking. Oh, I need to repair more buildings, which means I have to go chop down more trees. Okay, I can do that. They'll probably grow back. You're really quiet over here. Like, I don't know if, like, how many trees I'm going to need to chop down in order to bring more people back, but... Can I pick this up? No, I cannot. Whole thing's like, no, do it yourself. Okay. Oh, more stuff for me to shop down. Oh, it's all in my... It's all near my farm anyway. Nice. Of course, my dogs are kind of losing their minds. There we go. Chop them treats. Hmm. I can't see what's blocking me there, so I'm not gonna even bother. Might be a rock. I 
don't know if I can get through that rock. I don't think I can. Nice. You know, we really should, like, put more... Should do some... Do some more farming. Look at that, our lovely little garden here. Alright. Look at all of these... All of these cabbages. Okay. Water the seeds. I'm not sure when I'm going to have to go back and get more water. But I'm sure it'll be soon. There we go. Alright, let's go to town. Go see what we can see. Hmm. All right, how much would it take for me to... Oh, I don't have enough here. Okay, well, let's start smaller. Maybe this one. There we go. I wonder whose house this is, or whose shop this is. Some kind of florist. This is great. Oh, this game is so pleasant. After a very long week, this is definitely the kind of game that I need to be playing. Also, I love that my character that my character is already bone tired, and it's barely nine. All right, let's see what this one requires: stones and tulips. I can't really do that, so. Maybe I can't fix that one. Oh, maybe I can fix this one. I need stone for that too. Uh, what about this one? No, I need stone for that too. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go and mosey on home. Hey, dude. You know, mosey home. Go for a snooze. My character's already pretty tired, so. And sometimes you just gotta get a good day of sleep. Not a good night of sleep, a good day of sleep. We're parents, we understand. Multiple save slots, that's helpful. So just like any game on the Switch, you'll be able to play this game, and it's also available, I believe, on the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, as well as Steam, so it's available on every major console that's out there. But you'll be able to play it on um, a multiple accounts, as long as it's set up for permissions correctly, and if you have done those permissions correctly, then you know that you are protecting your kiddos from potential randos on the internet. Um, so you, you know, you're not saving, you're not going to be saving over top of each other because it's all profile based. Uh, I had a request for you, but you're going to tell me in person now? Oh, pardon me. Celery. I can totally get celery for you. But I got to go find celery seeds. She's actually writing her adorable little stutter into her into her letter. Okay, well, these dudes need to be watered, so let's do the watering. I don't have any fertilizer, so I can't do anything about that. There we 
There we go. All right. Well. Oh, hey, dude. Absolutely. Do you have celery seeds? Yes, you do. I would like to buy four of your celery seeds. I could make strawberries and onions, too. That's pretty great. Oh, this guy has stone. Do you have stone? Oh, it's so expensive, though. Hmm. I wonder if this is the, uh, this is going to be me just, oh, look at this. Our flower shop is fixed. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. But how, this is a miracle. Don't worry, it was me. Yeah, you're awesome. Aw, a dozen blue roses. I like pink roses, personally. Aw, that's lovely. How can we- I hope we can become good buddies. That's nice. Oh, I got some more seeds. And fertilizer! Lovely. Pretty little flowers bloom so bright. I don't know. We'll have to see if I can marry him. He's kind of my type. I mean, in-game me's type. Oh, okay. I can't believe you. They found each other! Dewey and Woody. Hey, you're coming with us too. But I just got here. <laughs> wow. Super awkward. All right, tiny spritelings. Let's go to the lighthouse. Then we'll come back and plant some flowers. I wish I could pick flowers. I guess that would kind of defeat the purpose for me having to grow them on my own, though. Alright, you sprites. Do the thing! Well, that's exciting. More light. Yeah, they, they do kind of look like Teletubbies, don't they? But they're not as creepy. They're like, you know, giant anime-eyed adorable creatures. Teletubbies are just scary. So we did it. We restored more of the lighthouse. So now we have to go and restore more, more stuff. Sounds like it's raining outside. On the bright side, that means I won't have to water. You can go to the mountains now. Oh, that might be the place where I a little different from your farm, so you might be able to grow some new kinds of crops. Okay. Chapter 2, like the way. 
All right, well, that's interesting. He just has to tell me where, like, where the mountains are, I guess. I don't really know. A level one? I have a level one house. Very interesting. I'm gonna chop down some more trees. Just because reasons. Alright, well those are watered, so you know what we should do? Because I don't know where the heck the mountains are. Unless they're this way? Oh, this is some kind of fertilizer bin? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's good to know, too. I guess we'll just adventure around and see if we can find it. It wasted all that time when I could have planted celery. That's true. I do need to go plant that celery. I think I'll go do that. Good call. Let's go till some soil. We'll go do it over here. Plant that celery. You know what that reminds me of? Is uh, the nonsense with Persona 5 and Morgana. Or Mona, depending on whether or not. He's going by his uh, Phantom Thief persona. Celery seeds. But yeah, that reminds that reminds me of that, where they just, you know, take it out of your hands and they're like, eh, just get over it. Alright, there we go. So now we've got our celery planted. I wonder if this is the way to the mountains. We'll find out. Of course, my dogs are outside now. Oh, did I find the mountains? I don't know why. I don't know what's going on here. Ah, oh, there's a mine over there. Oh, interesting. Kinds of weird stuff over here. Really, I just need a pickaxe so I can just do the thing. Oh, look, it's these two. Naomi. Hi, Sally. There are a bunch of trees all over the place. Okay. map of Beacon Town. That's useful. doing stuff at this point. Okay. So that's where the lighthouse is. That's where we live. That's that. So there's a bunch of different places that we need to unlock. I'm really interested in trying to figure out how to get those stones. Because if I don't get them... Hmm. Oh, hello. I'm Nova. Hi, Nova.
I hope you enjoy it. I like your hair. Oh, she must have been the girl that saved me. That makes sense. Oh, goodness. There's a little stone thing over here. Got a fragmented stone tablet. I, okay. Sure, yes. Let's do that. Maybe something good will happen. Okay. Let's go do that. Not much to do over here anyway, so... Hello, random person. Hi. Apparently I'm just that powerful. Like that of a wind chime swaying in a light breeze. That's cute. When I see something that interests me. Okay. I must have been guided here by fate. randomly takes my stone tablet and then just goes away, but okay, sure, that makes perfect not sense. That's different. All right, well, only thing to do is jump over the moon, or in this case, go back to bed. Really want those cel- I really want that celery to be done. And I have a feeling that my tiny little daughter is going to be joining us soon, and we are going to be switching over to Kirby Star Allies, which neither of us have played. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Yes. Yes, baby, you can come in. Speaking of which, you need to close the door, Viv. So it looks like Vivi has arrived. My five-year-old. Hi, Boo. Welcome home from school. I'm sorry that your tummy hurts, little one. And I got one um, raisin cookie. I like raisin cookies. Do you want to come and play with me on the stream? You want to play Kirby with me? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so we got to go and move this chair over. Let's do that real quick. All right. We are going to be right back. We'll be back in like five minutes. We're going to reset up and we will, we'll, be, we'll be back with Kirby Star Allies. All right. See you guys in just a bit.